Get hit, Marsha. I'm a man, which means I get to have my own. My bubbles. Well, I'm not backing down. I want. I'm sorry. I got nothing to be sorry for. Don't get smart with me, Baker boy. Maybe you like a few lady fingers stuffed up your lip. Every day I'm suffering. What am I gonna do now? Hi. Hi. Better brace yourself. Well, I've got to say, didn't know you had that in you back there. That was pretty impressive. I know. I know. So, Flynn, where are you from? Whoa, whoa, sorry, Blondie, I don't do backstory. However, I am becoming very interested in yours. Now, I, I know I'm not supposed to mention the hair. Nope. Or the mother. Uh-uh. Frankly, I'm too scared to ask about the frog. Chameleon? Nuance. Here's my question, though. If you want to see the lantern so badly, why haven't you gone before? Uh, <laughs> well... Boy... Thanks for telling me that Charlie was here. That could have been a disaster. I know. What could have been a disaster? Cindy. Oh, you get nothing! Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious! <laughs> what? Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious! Mary Poppins was right. It's extraordinary. It does make you feel better. <laughs> Mr. Martinelli says I'm not mechanically inclined. I guess I'm too slow. It's too bad, Pete. I don't know what to do. What did Mom and Dad say? I haven't told them yet. I don't want to spoil anybody's dinner, especially mine. Well, tell them right after dinner. How come? I couldn't break up your marriage. Your wife and your children. It's too bad, Pete. I don't know what to do. Dr. Vogel, I think you should know that I'm not ever going to say anything about this to my friends or my family. Well, tell them right after dinner. Uh, you're never going to get any... Lori? Maybe I'll have a talk with... Keith? Me. Why don't you just leave them alone? Because if I do, they'll never get together and fall in love.